They would bury the girls alive. They would burn the women alive. They would gamble until they lost their houses, their wives, and their kids. They would fight and kill each other. Justice isn't there. Education isn't there. And ignorance is everywhere. Then something happened that changed everything. We will discuss what happened in this video, inshallah. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. While they were worshipping the idols and walking around the Kaaba naked, while strong people treat weak people like animals and make them slaves, while people were busy oppressing themselves. During this darkness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that dawn would come and the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would rise. On a blessed night, called the night of power, the night of decree, Laylatul Qadr, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was sitting alone in Kiv Hira, thinking, worshipping the Lord of the world and contemplating the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At this glorious moment, he, peace be upon him, heard the voice of the angel Jibreel, peace be upon him, calling out to him in the darkness of the night, saying, O Muhammad, read. It was at this moment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed his mercy to mankind by choosing Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be the final messenger. Before, Before this, this moment, moment what, what was the state, state of the world? world? Before this historic event, the world was drowning in injustice, with people in Arabia, Asia, Africa, Europe, and beyond killing each other, engaging in gambling, alcohol consumption, and racism. The world was consumed by ignorance, as described by Ja'far ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu to the king of Abyssinia, an Najashi. He said, O king, we were a people in a state of ignorance and immorality, worshipping idols and eating the flesh of dead animals, committing all sorts of abomination and shameful deeds, breaking the ties of kinship, treating guests badly, and the strong among us exploited the weak. We remained in this state until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us a prophet, peace be upon him. One of our own people whose lineage, truthfulness, trustworthiness, and integrity were well known to us. He called us to worship Allah alone and to renounce the stones and the idols which we and our ancestors used to worship beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He commanded us to speak the truth, to honor our promises, to be kind to our relations, to be helpful to our neighbors, to seize all forbidden acts, to abstain from bloodshed, to avoid obscenities and false witness, not to appropriate an orphan's property, nor slander chaste women. He ordered us to worship Allah alone and not to associate anything with Him, to uphold Salah, to give Zakah and fast in the month of Ramadan. We believed in him and what he brought to us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we follow him in what he has asked us to do. And we keep away from what he forbade us from doing. Thereupon, O king, our people attacked us, applied the severest punishment on us to make us renounce our religion and take us back to the old immorality and the worship of idols. They oppressed us, made life intolerable for us and abstracted us from observing our religion. It, it was, was really, really bad, bad in Arabia, Arabia during, during this time. time. What, what about, about other countries and people, people around the world? There, there were definitely many civilizations. civilizations. What, what was, was their life like? like? The night of power came when the entire world was engulfed in darkness and corruption. People of different faiths, including pagans, Christians, and Jews, lived in a state of ignorance. And even the most advanced civilizations of that time, such as the Persian and Roman Empire, were deeply entrenched in injustice and moral decay. During that time in Europe, there were debates about whether women were human beings or evil creatures in human form. And women were burned alive or drowned in water for being accused of witchcraft and sorcery. Meanwhile, in Arabia, Baby girls were buried alive, and in India, widow women were burned alive. The evils of adultery, slavery, gambling, riba, and injustice are everywhere. In this darkness of the night and the darkness of ignorance, the light of Allah came. All, All praise, praise and, and thanks, thanks to Allah 
for the gift of Islam and for sending Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that the last Prophet to all humanity, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would begin on his responsibility to guide all people towards worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just and brought the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This marked the beginning of the end of paganism, injustice, slavery, and the abuse of women and children. The night of power was also the starting point of the revelation of the Holy Quran, the greatest gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all mankind, which would take humanity from darknesses into light, from injustice to justice, and from the depths of ignorance to the heights of knowledge. There is no doubt that this night changed history and it changed the face of the earth. Could you please highlight something that had changed since the Quran was revealed? The message of Islam and the Quran transformed the world in a short span of time, influencing every aspect of human life, including food habits and daily routines. This message even brought an end to the worst and most evil empires of that time. The Qur'an became the source of the best scientific discoveries of mankind. It brought about the golden period of Islamic civilization. In it were discoveries that still drive technology and society today. The Qur'an was the inspiration to create schools and universities. The Qur'an was the inspiration to create navigation and travel. The Qur'an was the inspiration for fair trade. The Qur'an was the inspiration towards international laws and diplomacy for peace. The Qur'an was the inspiration for biological discoveries and knowledge. There has never been a book like it, and never will be any book meet its power, glory and significance, for it's the perfect and preserved speech of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I understand why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored this night. It was for the sake of sending the Qur'an and sending Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him to all of mankind. Is there anything else happening this night? During the night of the decree, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the angelic scribes to record the events that will take place during the upcoming year in Allah al-Mahfuz, which is also known as the preserved tablet. This includes events such as provision, death, life, and rainfall. It is even recorded who will go to Hajj. And according to Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. It's said that a person may walk around in the marketplaces, unaware that their name has already been recorded as one who will pass away in the upcoming year. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about this night, Hamim wal kitab al mubin إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ إِنَّا كُنَّا مُنْذِرِينَ فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ What would Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions do in this night? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would devote the last ten days of Ramadan to seeking this night and earning Allah's mercy and blessings. He would spend the entire night in prayer reciting the Qur'an, contemplating its meanings, seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and expressing gratitude for his abundant blessings. Also the companions of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with them, would make their supplications on the night of power. It is said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would grant them whatever they ask it for before the arrival of the following Ramadan. Is, is it, it possible, possible that, that this night, night can change, change my future and destiny? And destiny? Would, Would Allah, Allah give me something, something if I ask? asked? If this night was capable of it changing the whole world so much, it certainly has the power to transform our lives and futures. All we have to do is do our best during the last 10 days of Ramadan, supplicating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with as much sincerity as we can, knowing that our prayers affect our destiny. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Nothing increases one's lifespan except righteousness, and nothing repels the divine decree except supplication, and a man may be deprived of provision by a sin that he commits. Is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night similar to worshipping him for 83 years? It is more valuable than a thousand months. 
So it's better than worshiping Allah for 83 years. It is a celebration for the revelation of the Quran. On this night, the leader of the angels, Prophet Jibreel, peace be upon him, along with the angels, descends to the worldly heaven in accordance with Allah's command. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised to forgive our sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors his promises in the best way. He is the most honorable. This is truly the most remarkable offer anyone can ever receive. So are we not going to benefit from such an offer? Will we not seek such a reward? Will we deny ourselves this privilege? Finally, don't forget that you may see a person planting trees or doing something else while he's actually among those who will die in the upcoming year, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already decreed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who found the night of Al-Qadr. May Allah bestow upon us his favors. May he grant us the pleasure of bestowing infinite salawat upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May he make us from amongst the winners of his promises. May he prolong our worship and obedience towards him and him alone. May Allah make our last days the best of our days. May he grant us the honor of drinking from al kawthar May he grant us his mercy and protect us from his anger. May he permit us into Al-Firdaus. May he protect us and our kin from the trials of the hour and of Ad-Dajjal. May Allah forgive our shortcomings and that of our parents and their parents. May Allah make for us obedient of spring that continue to worship him alone without associating partners with him. May Allah remove from our past the calamities. May he make us from the patient ones who submit without hesitation and make us pleased with that which he is pleased and make us displeased with that which he is displeased with. Ameen, ameen, ya Rabbal Alameen. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayrum ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم بإذن ربهم من كل أم سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر